Hey, so this person here just ran on the street and assaulted me. Let's get you on video, shall we? Why are you hiding? You should be proud of yourself. You're battling oppression. I'm not going anywhere. Let's see ya. I said get off me, you dead! Let's get a look at him, Jess. Get off of me. What the fuck is This person needs to be arrested, that's why. So do you, you're being an asshole. Let go of my sign. Let go of my sign. This person just ran out. You could have called the cop. Out, out, get out, 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 get out. Get the fuck out. Out. Get the out. out. Get out. Get out. Out. So you're siding with the Sir. person who assaults people? No. That's you, you your approach is wrong. Huh? Your approach is wrong. What's my approach? What's wrong with my approach? You cannot This just... person comes and punches Listen, me on the street. Honestly. And my approach is wrong. Okay. Call the cops. You have the cops. You do not come bring your assault in the bus with the passengers. What? I walked out, on a bus please. to a person out, assaulting please. me. Out, please. I'll we'll see you later, okay? Out, nice please. Oh, you're, a you're a moron. You're, you're the moron. You you're the one oh siding with the person assaulting people. Yeah? Well, you have the cop. You can't come here. You're... I can't call the cops when she's on the bus. Can no, I? No, call the cell. Okay, this is the number of the, of the bus. Oh. I came to get the person on video so I could call the cops. But you cannot come maybe and stop, my Maybe stop here. siding with people who are assaulting people. I'm not siding with it, but your approach is wrong. What's wrong about it? Oh this needs to go and get arrested. That's how it is? That's how yes, it is? Yes, she needs to get arrested or he, whatever it is. No, I don't know what he, she did, but you're, no, no, I do. you're a problem now. No, this person needs to go Listen, to the police. You see all this? Be arrested. You see all this? Yeah. You're not supposed to come yeah, to the public I'd like the bus. footage. Give me the footage. Just go. Email the footage to Chris at billboardchris.com. Everybody. Oh my you have yourself a nice day. Stop signing with people who assault oh, others. He's a hate criminal. Look at his sign. He's a hateful criminal. He's wearing a hateful sign. I had a doctor's appointment the day he came in. I wanted him to make a thing of being a murderer. He had a hateful face on him. He's a murderer. This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth. The footage that you just saw was filmed yesterday, and it involves my friend Billboard Chris, who was sucker punched in the face by a transgender person while he was crossing an intersection in Vancouver. Now, the attacker thought that they could just get away, run onto a bus, and flee the situation, but you can't just assault Billboard Chris in the streets and think you're just going to get away with it. So he followed the attacker onto a bus in an attempt to get some footage of their face after being assaulted and immediately upon seeing this footage I noticed some things uh, so I took to Twitter uh, X formerly known as Twitter and said this help me get off of me as he lunges towards Chris and grabs his sign then the clown hair person said he's a hate criminal look at his sign dude you punched him in the face these people think that words are violence while they punch and cry. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to take a look at this footage that is now going absolutely viral. This one clip here already has over 3 million views. Uh, we'll also look at the response from the bus driver. Uh, this footage was not included in the intro where he says to the transgender person, if you do not agree with what he's doing, you cannot assault somebody. And the trans-identified man says, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Now, this is obviously not the first time that uh, Billboard Chris has had to deal with this type of situation. You guys may recall this viral incident that I filmed um, here in this video exclusive when unhinged transgender people attack on the International Day of Trans Visibility. Well, back here, uh, you may recall the police officers ended up taking the side of the unhinged, violent transgender 
activists. Well, a similar thing seems to have happened with this bus driver and these other, you know, passengers on the bus who took the side of this violent and aggressive transgender person, guys. So we're going to talk about all of this and much more in this video. But really quickly before we do, I'd ask that you check me out here at subscribestar.com slash press for truth. In case you guys didn't know, I have been kicked off of Patreon. If you go to Patreon, it's going to say this page is under review, but in reality, I've been suspended until I censor my content moving forward, which I'm not willing to do. So instead of doing that, I set up a Subscribestar account, guys. Here you can sign up for five bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, Whatever is within your means is very greatly appreciated. I can't do this work without you guys. So please check that top link in the description below to where you can find me at subscribestar.com slash press for truth. All right, guys. Um, interestingly enough, I had just spoken with uh, Billboard Chris a couple of days ago in this video here. Huge win. Alberta changes student gender identity surgery and parental consent policies. And again, this is a major step in the right direction that we've just seen in Alberta. But interestingly enough, you know, when we take a big leap in the right direction, sometimes we end up being pushed back uh, by these psychotic trans activists. And I'll remind you of the last time I was out, you know, filming <clears throat> with Chris and <clears throat> he was surrounded by these Antifa types and... They started pushing him around, slamming him. His sign ended up hitting him in the face and, you know, drawing a bunch of blood. And then look at this. They, they surrounded him and grabbed him, threw him to the ground. It was absolutely insane. My footage went completely viral, and uh, rightly so. This was a completely unhinged transgender person violently attacking uh, uh, Chris. And, it, it you know, it, it was shocking and, and you know... It should, have, it should have shocked you. Well, this footage that uh, just emerged is equally as shocking and, and troubling because, you know, <laughs> this is getting to the point where, you know, somebody thinks they can just walk up to you in the middle of the street and sucker punch you in the face. I mean, it, it's getting absolutely insane. So let's break this down a little bit. Let's watch a little bit of uh, some of um, what just transpired here yesterday. Look at this initial clip already has 2.8 million views. This is just going mega, mega viral. Hey, so this person here just ran on the street and assaulted me. By the way, you can obviously already tell that this is a biological man. I mean, just, just look at the physical, you know, way that this guy so is, this is walking, here. you know, you, you can tell the, 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 the walk of a biological man. Plus Chris is a very big guy. You know, what woman or lady or female is going to walk up to him and sucker punch him in the face? Uh, highly doubt that is uh, going to ever, ever happen. So you have this biological man who's in either in the process of transitioning or has just transitioned who thought he could punch Billboard Chris in the face and get away with it and then flees to this bus and look at him cowardly hiding his face. Why are you hiding? You should be proud of yourself. You're battling oppression. I'm not going anywhere. Let's see ya. I said get off me, you shit! Let's get a look at very, very aggressive there. He says, get off me, you dick. And <laughs> interesting choice of words when you apparently have an issue with that part of the body. I mean, you've, you know, taken issue with it for some particular reason. And now you're using it as a slur and, and a name against people that you dislike. And to take it a step further, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this th this is the, the the footage that which was really irritating no, in the beginning. No, your approach is wrong. Huh? Your approach is wrong. Of this guy, approach? you know, What's your approach wrong is wrong. You this person just... comes and punches Listen. me on the street. Immediately taking the side of the the violent, aggressive, transgender person because it's like a green hair person crying. Uh, same with the the blonde lady. Honestly. And my approach is wrong. Okay. You have the cop. You do not come bring your salt in the bus with the passengers. What? I walked Out, on a bus please. to a person Out, assaulting please. me. Out, please. You know, okay. TransLink really needs to uh, have this guy, uh, you know, disciplined for, for handling this situation in such an absolutely terrible way. See you later, okay? Out, have a nice please. day. Oh, now, we'll go to the other footage um, because this is where things get really remarkable. The other angle here. So this person is screaming, help me, help me, get off of me. 
as he clearly <laughs> lunges towards Chris. Look, Chris says, get off of me. Stop, stop touching me. And he's backing away. Look, he's trying to back away. He's trying to back away. And watch this person lunge towards him. Look, he scooches up, grabs Chris's sign, pulls it in, and then starts saying, get off of me. Listen. Get off of me. Hey, buddy, why don't you just get off the fucking truck? Get off of me. So he pulls Chris into him and says, get off of me. Look how I'm being oppressed creating this ruse of victimization when Chris was the one who was literally sucker punched in the face by this psycho. And then the lady behind him says, hey, buddy, why don't you get the F off the bus, man? You know, you're causing a big problem. And he's like, uh, this person needs to be arrested. They just punched me in the face. What are you talking about? This person about? needs to be arrested, that's why. So do you, you're being an asshole. Let go of my sign. Help me! He's trying to say, let go. This person's saying, help me, help me, while he's gripping onto Chris. Chris is like trying to back away, saying, let go of me here. And the person's like, stay off me, help, help. Absolutely insane. This is like, you know, those like insurance fraud claims where people throw themselves in front of a bus or something and try to like rip people off. Like, what is this person doing? Stop hurting me. Now, stop hurting me. What what he means by that is that words themselves are violence. We're going to see here in a minute uh, that this person uh, says that, you know, he's a hate criminal. Just look at his sign. He's wearing a sign. He's a hate criminal because of his words. So this person thinks that they've been, uh, like, ha had violence against them because he's standing there with the sign. And what do the words say? Children cannot consent to puberty blockers. That's the big issue that this transgender person has. Children cannot consent to puberty blockers. A very true, rational, logical, factual statement. And it's thrown this person into a complete rage. Oh, you hear that? Out, please! You're a moron! You are me, you transphobic Kind of channeled his inner biological man there. <laughs> Listen to the rage again in the voice when he says, You transphobic! Bleep. You're a moron! You are me, you transphobic fuck! You're the one assaulting people. Yeah. Well, you have the cop. You can't come to here. You I can't call the cops when she's on the bus. Oh, you need to go and get arrested. Crazy. That's how it is. That's how yes. it is. But you're, I I do. you're a problem now. No, this person is supposed so, to come yeah. to the public like the bus. Footage. Give me the footage. Just go. Email the footage to Christian Bill. Listen, everybody. You have to put the footage down. Listen, he's a hate criminal. He's a hate criminal. Look at his sign. He's a hateful criminal. Look at his sign. He's a hateful criminal. This is why this person punched him in the face. Saw the words on the sign, thought it was okay to go up and assault somebody uh, because uh, of, of, of the words. He's wearing a hateful he, sign. He's wearing a hateful sign. Now, I don't know if you caught that part, but uh, he says, I just wanted to get to my doctor's appointment. I have a doctor's appointment to say he came in. I wanted to make a thing to speak of mercury. He had a hateful phrase. Now there, if you listen very closely, it sounds like this person is saying he had a hateful face. And listen. Henry. I only wanted to get rid of him because he had a face that was horrible. So, you know, maybe some people who can uh, hear that a little clearer than I can, can, can close caption this, but that's sure as heck what it sounds like to me. Now, as I said, uh, the, uh, the reaction from this bus driver was absolutely uh, horrid. But after Chris left, somebody ended up sending him uh, this footage that showed the bus driver telling this transgender person, you can't just assault somebody. You obviously did something wrong. You came running onto the bus here. So you did something. 
And then the transgender person started saying, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, admitting that they did something wrong. Check it out. And I'm not agree with you. Listen, listen, you did something wrong, that's why you're running. So you do not- You did something wrong, that's why you're running. Let's bring it to the bus when I have all these passengers. This is a public. He came after me. I know, but I'm sure you did something wrong. I what I did. That's why they call it freedom. They can do whatever they want. If you're not agree, you call the cops. So he said, see that? This is called freedom. He can do whatever he wants. If you don't agree, you call the cops. You don't just violently assault somebody. I'm sorry I hurt okay, people. Okay, okay, it's enough. So he says, I'm sorry I hurt people. Sorry, I it's just, enough. I just want to live my life as a safety Okay. <laughs> if you're not agree with anything like that, you do not assault somebody. Just, See, if you do not agree with anything like that, you do not assault somebody. About time he uh, figured out what, what's going on here. It's unfortunate that he took the position with Chris immediately when he did, but I think he, you know, his rationality came around when he realized the situation and he, he was like, look, you're in the wrong here, lady, mister, whatever you are. See how you disturbed my bus I didn't and my mean passenger. To why he came, he was after me. <laughs> He's like, you see how you disturbed my bus? And the guy's like, I didn't mean to. He was after me. Yeah, he was after you because you sucker punched him in the face. You can't expect to just get away with that. Okay. He's after me. Okay, is it Go sit on the uh, chair. Go sit on the chair. I don't want you sitting here. I have lots of empty chairs. Okay. okay. Now here's where I kind of get sad. You just ruined my whole day. <laughs> I want to go. I want to go to the. I just want to go to my side and believe it. And he has come. Oh, it's you know. I can't help but honestly feel bad for for this person. Here they are saying, "I just wanted to get to my doctor's appointment." crying like a child probably because of the amount of estrogen that is being pumped into their system you know going against everything uh their their own biology and having a, a, a mental breakdown here while they're on the way to the doctor's office which is probably the source of their pain in the first place a place where they're going to have to continue to go especially if they get any of the surgeries done this is going to be appointments for life and obviously this person is mentally unstable. If they think that they can magically change their sex by taking some drugs and getting surgeries, they're clearly mentally unstable. And so now we have this person hopping onto a, you know, violently attacking someone like uh, Billboard Chris, hopping onto a bus, trying to escape. Uh, you know, th th this person needs to be arrested and charged, but at the same time, you almost got to feel bad because j just how much of this has been pushed on society. But I, I don't feel bad for this particular person because they made the absolute horrific mistake of thinking that it's okay to, you know, ass violently assault somebody because of their words. That's just how bad this whole situation has gotten, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you know, I've been documenting, you know, this stuff, uh, you know, for like over a decade, but certainly in the past few years, um, the uh, level of violence and aggression from these uh, transgender uh, activists uh, has been increasing to to a great deal. So, you know, hopefully this person could be identified. No big surprise here that they've got a trans pin and a Palestinian flag pin. The only thing that's missing is a BLM pin for the trifecta. I'm surprised they didn't have that one. But at any rate, maybe this person can uh, be um, identified and uh, and rightfully so charged with assault. I know Billboard Chris is working on getting the footage you know, there's lots of CCTV cameras of intersections in Vancouver that would have the initial footage of him being sucker punched in the face. So he is going to try to get that footage. But uh, again, this is this is what we're up against in this day and age, ladies and gentlemen. When you're when when you're faced against you know crazy radical, you know far left transgender violent activists, um, it's it's quite telling of of the sign of the times. So. 
we need to support guys like Billboard Chris, you know, who are brave enough to be out there uh, putting putting himself on the line to to expose this insanity for what it is. Um, so, guys, if you haven't seen my interview with him from just a couple of days ago, uh, following this huge win in Alberta, again, major step in the d right direction. Be sure you check it out. I'll put links to all of this in the description below. And uh, yeah, go watch this stuff on Twitter, on X, formerly known as Twitter, and uh, share it out, tweet it out. Uh, let's get this person identified so they can be uh, dealt with in the proper way and realize that they can't just get away with violently assaulting somebody in the middle of the street uh, because you don't like their opinion. Uh, guys, once again, if you do appreciate my efforts to bring you all this info, don't forget to check me out here at subscribestar.com slash pressfortruth. You can click that top link in the description below. And that's all for me for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you once again for tuning in. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Share this video with your friends and family who you think need to see it the most. And stay tuned. We're going to have more video reports coming soon, God willing. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free, free.